Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun Queen, Pierre LeBlanc, known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunted sharks. I hunt sharks. It's in the blood. There was somebody better at this, you'd be following down, yeah? Oh, people, we got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Scientists say we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with that shark, huh? Shark just wanna do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, they put 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fatik Bay. Huh? Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in flank. Get the f out of my way. Got a job to do. This is an adult bull shark. Fast, fierce, and armed quite literally to the teeth, she has little to fear here in the Gulf. The muscular marvel confidently moves through its watery world. A shark fin is a sinister reminder to humans that the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. The bull performs an acrobatic feat worthy of an orca, cruelly imprisoned and put on display in a marine park stunt show. The big fish plunges to the ocean below. The bull's speed is astounding for a large marine predator. Reaching shark is a rare and calorie intensive spectacle. Thank <laughs> you. 
While it is well known that sharks feed on mollusks, fish, and seals, less discussed is their propensity to feed on fear. The illegal feeding of wild sharks has caused the highly suggestible fish to associate the sound of boat engines with food. Emphasize that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That shark needs a good whack on their nose. Go get him, Chad. Look, look. Dinner coming, boys. Let's get her up on deck, huh? On board the Cajun Queen, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. Yeah, this my daddy's iron, all right. This ain't the shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. Oh, oh look at here. She's on for me. Hello! <laughs> Are you mama in there? So I can identify her. Next time I see her, when I spear her. The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You never want to turn off the camera.
A famous big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. Remember, when planning a cemetery, try to avoid high-risk coastal areas. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins, this shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey. is a freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here.
The overhunting of Fawtix Keystone predators has led to a super abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator. Catfish are monogamous, meaning someone special someone won't be coming home tonight. Overhunting of Fawtix Keystone predators has led to a super abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator. So long as the breath of life remains, sharks are a threat. Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. Remember, if you find yourself hard aground, the best thing to do is stay with your canoe and die the death of an honorable sea.
Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty both. I used to buy sunshine sunscreen until I read it contains seven hormone-disrupting chemicals and palm oil. Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. A local critic once wrote that Amos Beauregard was the Rodin of the Bayou, but Beauregard was functionally illiterate and had no idea who Rodin was. really a gourmand, the bull shark will eat just about anything. Someone should have taken a gun safety class.
This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors.